cooking our silver fish today and um, as you've seen I first of all like first fry it without oil just a little bit I don't know it's called okukalanga ko in my in my language so kamukalanga ko it means the first fry it um, okay it's called roasting I think so you roast it a bit because uh, if you don't roast it first of all it just sour if it's not roasted and also roasting it first gives it a good taste uh, so we first roast it and then after roasting it I put it in the water because after roasting it it's usually very dry so it's not soft so we put it in the water to wash off the extra dirt and also to make it a little bit soft and also when you put it when you when you put it in water it also helps it loosen the stone some of those silver fish got stones in them so when you put water in the stones go down so we first soak it for around uh, 15 minutes and as we soak it we'll be cooking the vegetables keep up with me so first of all put our oil and then we let it get ready we are putting a lot of oil because uh, we have a lot of greens vegetables we have eggplants we have uh, the entula how do you call it like in English? I'm an African Ugandan woman. I don't know how entry is called. But we're going to use a lot of vegetables. So if you're using a lot of vegetables, it means they consume a lot of oil. So by the end of this oil, we won't see this oil even. It won't be seen anywhere. So now we first wait for the oil to get ready. So we first of all put our onion. a little bit yeah so you don't let them get brown just like we usually do the frying of any other sauce you know we always first let the onions become brown but in this case we don't that's when we add the entula We add the entula first uh, because they are a little bit hard, you see, this is hard. So we add them first so we can give them time to get ready. So it's the hardest vegetable we have today. So it's what we add first. This video was uh, requested by one of our followers to do the silver fish sauce. I know usually many people don't like this. I know it's very tasty, yeah? Yeah, but some of you don't want people to know that you, you actually eat it. It's one of my favorites because uh, first of all, it's easy to make. It doesn't take a lot of time and it's very delicious. For me as a posho lover, because I love eating posho, as in I love it so much. It's the quickest sauce to make with posho. And also it has many health benefits. When we were growing up, if you, had, uh, if you were sick of measles, usually our parents would uh, be advised to cook this mukene soup for the kid because of its health benefits. It has a lot of vitamins, it has a lot of proteins. It's good for the body entirely. Actually, it's very good also for the pregnant women. <laughs> it's very good for them. It's, um, it's good for building the brain cells of a baby inside there. So that's why I love this particular sauce. So since it was requested, we decided to do it. You can as well make more requests on what you want us to cook for you. And we shall surely cook it for you. Keep on watching and following us step by step and if at all you have anything you want to ask any recipe you want to ask like you can be there and you're like okay i need to know how to cook this how to cook that trust me just comment down there share the video like it we shall do that for you so as for now keep up with me <laughs>
Whoa! See, I ex our Tula. He decided to use the local name. Our Entula. See, so many of you are out there saying, "Ah, oh, who is going to eat that?" Ah, it's very delicious. Trust me. You go eat it. So now, as they are getting ready, we're going to put our eggplants. So these are eggplants. Um, I chopped them, finely chopped them, I peeled them, and I put them in water. The reason as why I put them in water as I chop them is because of this color. You see the color of the water? It's brown. So if you do not put them in water, they themselves, they don't have this color. They'll change the color to brown and trust me, it does not look good at all. It looks so ugly. So to keep them in their same color, just put them in water as you cut them. So now we are adding them in our entula. Who wouldn't want to eat this? cabbages are ready with everything they are now soft at this point you see so now we are adding a silver fish right about now so the silver fish is all clean and soft so we put it add it in there this is my favorite sauce, apparently. So apparently, I bought this silver fish. This is to be eaten as a family at, um, I bought it at 1,5, 1,500 shillings, Ugandan shillings. And uh, it was this much. Add our tomatoes and um, after adding our tomatoes just like every other vegetable we first let it like this before we mix it now we add our salt so the reason as to why we add the salt on top of the tomatoes is to help the tomatoes get ready very fast and also to help the salt get in the food directly in the sauce okay it's all food so we're gonna cover that up and let the tomatoes get ready See, when you put tomatoes with salt, you can even see the soup coming. That's the use of the salt in tomatoes. See, now this is soup without water, without nothing. I 
put two kinds of curry powders, which I won't mention, but everybody has their favorite curry powders they use at home. Every woman has their favorite. So when I put the curry powder now, I do not first mix it. I first cover that up so I get the real scent, the real taste out there. So after just um, in, a, in a few minutes, like two minutes, I'll mix the curry powder in. Now we are going to eat the African way. Choose mix, we add some water because this is to make the soup thick. So you add a little bit of water before we add it directly in the sauce. It's in our sauce. Oh my god, look at that! So we add this. Make sure you add all of it. Now you see. You see how the sauce becomes thick immediately. You see? It looks delicious already before even testing it. You can just tell it's delicious. Our sauce is ready. We last put mochos mix. See? So this is our final look. And the sauce is ready. See? So our sauce is ready and uh, we had already cooked the food. We shall have matoke and rice with this. So, it's done. Keep up with us, subscribe for more of these delicious meals, subscribe to Eating the African Way. Oh my god, this is this looks so delicious. Can't wait to eat this. Mm. Subscribe, keep up. You know what we do best on Eating the African Way. After cooking, after sharing the recipe, we test our food and we give our genuine opinion. opinion. Uh, these guys are breaking the rule. We don't use forks on eating the African. We use our hands. The hand there is a way you feel the food with your hands. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the magic behind this. But how is the food so far? Food is so far. Our chef. <laughs> you are a chef. So what, how is the food? Mm, I think the food has come out the way I wanted it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, all the vegetables are in and soft, mm -hmm. and you can eat them, you can feel the taste, you can feel each and every spice that we put in there. I think um, it's perfect for me. Wow, thank you so much. This video was a request from one of our subscribers, I won't mention the name, but if you want to know, you can go through our, our comments and see who this person was. Uh, today. Today's video is about silver fish, but we went through the Google and check check out the right the right name, and it's called silver cyprinid. From the school, we've been like <laughs> our teachers, our headmasters. Thank you so much for lying to us. <laughs> we are coming for our school fees. Back. We are coming back for our school fees. But thank you so much for keeping yourself on eating the African way. The food came out well. Uh, by the way. One of our subscribers told me that I saw you in the last video. You didn't test the food. I know what we do. I know how. how I know when that when you test the food, there's a way you do. You link your fingers. You link the plate. So 
just wait. I need more. Go to the market. To the market. The market has raw food. Hmm. Never knew all this thing. It's so delicious. I want to know why it's a mouthy. Hmm. So now I'm I'm doing myself a visit. Where for the chicken? Where for the chicken? Hmm. One of the reasons why I will live and die in Africa. I think we should make this our signature move. After eating, we will. Hmm. <coughs> Thank you so much for keeping yourself on eating the African. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. If you've been with us, thank you so much. Keep the engagement flowing, keep the comments coming in. Drop your request, we'll do that for you. Any food you want to see next on Eating the African Way, we are ready for you. You can send us anywhere you want, as long as you give us transport. <laughs>